And there's a guy that is double T here. And today, we are actually going to be doing another unboxing. Yes, yet another unboxing. So, yes, we got more clutch right. So here we go. So this one, which is just a single pack without the launcher, is Fierce Achilles. What? Fierce? Fierce Achilles? Huh? We already have Zeo Achilles. Now we're getting a second Achilles. So now we can do Zeo Achilles versus Fierce Achilles. And also one I am really excited for. The one that comes with the launcher is Jane Corbeus, a defense type. Fierce Achilles is a stamina type. So with Fierce Achilles, if you can focus. Oh no, it's not. Oh. It has four attack, two burst, six defense, five weight, seven agility, and 13 stamina, of course. When you change it, it goes from stamina type to a defense type, or to a balance type. Now this one is, a, in fact, a defense type. So it's going to max on defense, probably. Oh. All right, two attack, one burst, 18 Defense. 18 defense. Are you kidding me? Five weight, four agility, and seven stamina. So when it changes when it changes to its core mode, it becomes a stamina type. Alright. I think first we should just do fierce Achilles first. Since that's the least exciting of the two. And I know there's tape, but we don't care about the tape. I'm just gonna rip open the box. Oh. All right, goodies. Oh. That's the disc, and it's a Quillion. Okay, new disc. Never had a Quillion. So yeah, that's a new disc, and looks like the armor, the core tip, is Zephyr. We already have Zephyr from Gilded Balderov, but I guess we get another Zephyr, or another Quadrive Zephyr at least. And the armor tip, I am not sure what this is. I think it might be Revolve, but Revolve without the piece. I am not sure what this could be. Yeah, there it is. Oh, kind of looks like Gear Circle Flat. <laughs> it kind of looks like it. And let's see the layer. Open up the layer. Moment of truth. It'll open up the way. All right. Fierce Achilles. Look at this. So it is a left spin again. And oh, new armor. It is zero. I, yeah, this is the armor that came on Spriggan. The zero armor, and let's look at fierce Achilles. So here's the Achilles chip. It's clear. It's clear. It's a very ugly color scheme. I do not like that color scheme at all. And we got the fierce. Look at this though. Look at this ring. It's like full. It's like a circle. 
it's like a newbie on, but in TV form. And it has like gold on it. That looks really cool. Blue and gold. That looks really cool. Actually, let's get zoomed in on it. And let's actually see how this looks. Because Zeal and Achilles. I'm not sure how that's going to look. But we're going to see how it looks. Oh. Okay. Let's put Achilles in. And when I put this on there. Okay. Definitely doesn't look bad. They're both clear, so it definitely looks better. But the color schemes don't match, so. Yeah. Put Zeal and Nidhogg back together. All right. Now, let's assemble Fierce Achilles. All right. Ship, ship always goes in first. Julian and the driver and armor tip. Here we go. This is Fierce Achilles. Looks put not doesn't look that bad. It does have a really small tip. Not sure if that's supposed to be stamina or attack. No, it's really small. It might be even smaller than Venture, but now we get. Two chain curveus. Chain curveus. So we get another quad strike launcher, which is great because I only had one, but now we're getting another one. Out the goodies. So the stress is we don't need that. Okay. So yes, we get another quad strike launcher. But the rip cord's even more bent. Oh my. But at least. We finally get a right spin version of We can finally have a right spin one. Yeah, this ripcord is pretty dense. Not that good. All right, anyways, let's see the disc. Oh, this is different. Wait, this is AQ. Wait a minute. I thought the other one was AQ. Wait a second. Hold up. Wait. Yeah, they're both AQ, but they're different discs. This one is a triangle, but this one is a square. That's interesting. Okay, that's... That's very... Very, 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 very interesting. Anyways, let's check out the armor tip and driver. So here is the stamina type driver, which actually looks like a stamina type driver. So that's good. And here is the defensive armor tip. And yes, finally, 
we don't have a flat tip. We actually have a tip that isn't flat. This is a obviously yard. So yeah, finally a tip that isn't flat. All right, that's that. Now let's check out. Good day. Corbeus, look at this. Oh, wow. Oh man. Oh. Would you look at that? We get another six, which also came on Gilded Battle Rock. And why is this not coming off? Holy, that was a little hard to get off. Yeah. And then look at the chain. This chain, though, is really hard to get off. Actually, there we go. So this is the only, so far, the only right spin quad strike that I have. This is the only right spin one so far. Actually, let's put in high modes, see how it looks. All right. The tip is a nice green, though. That is a real nice green. So, the only quad strikes I have left now to get are, that are like out at the target, are Poseidon and Basilisk. Those are the only two I have left to get. Thought I could get them today, but they didn't have it. Anyways, let's put to the assembly. Of chain curvaceous. Oh wait, this right spin. And there you go. Chain curvaceous. Now it's time for I don't know what time it is. My favorite parts of the video where it is on the footer. As I was looking for it. Can you even see the whole stadium? Oh, that's good enough. So wait. No. Yeah, that's good enough. Um, let's get our other quad strike launcher. Because this one is all bent. But we can still use it. All right. Test launch of these two bays. Let's do Fierce Achilles first. First up, the with the armor tip on. Three, two, one. Right there. Okay. I don't think that's a stamina type because it should stay in the middle. Well, actually, there is no middle to the stadium, so it doesn't really matter. Okay, not too bad, but now the armor tip off. It should perform essentially like Gilded Valderov, because it's basically the same, it's the same, exactly the same tip. Because this is just Zephyr, and Zephyr's not really that aggressive. So yeah, that's that. All right, now time for chain. Yes, actually, let's do the stamina mode first because I'm excited for the defense mode. All right, All right chain, chain, chain. Okay, that's actually a stamina type. Look at that, it actually stays in the middle. Oh wow, that is unlike any of the quad, quad strike Beyblades that I have. Most of them, the other three, like Zeo Killings and Zeo Nighog, they're they just go crazy. 
But this one, it's kind of like Zeal Achilles in core mode, but better. Because this one doesn't have that flat treatment. So this Beyblade is going nowhere. Yeah, this Beyblade is going nowhere, so it's going to have probably better defense, actually, than the yard attachment, which is kind of weird. Wow, look how much stamina it has. And it has some decent life after death as well. Okay, not bad. Not bad at all. But now... <coughs> now it's time for defense mode. Right, here we go. Three, two, one. Let it rip. Okay. It doesn't go anywhere. Wow. Chain Corbeus is probably like my most calm quad strike Beyblade that I have. It's like the most, it's like the calmest one. Cause both modes, Shane Corbeus isn't going anywhere. Unless it gets hit by like Z or like Achilles or like Nidhogg. But first, let's do some battles. On both modes actually. So let's first do, um, Zeal Achilles versus Zeal or actually Fierce Achilles versus Zeal Achilles. Oh my. This ripcord does not... Okay, this ripcord does not want to work in left spin for some reason, so we're going to have to grab another one. Three, two, actually it's much fierce first. Three, two, one, and there. Yeah. Hey, oh wow, fierce Achilles with the win. Mr. Achilles maintaining his stamina. Okay, maybe it is a stamina type. Three. All right, let's try again. Oh, wow. Got him on the brink. Oh, it's going to be a draw this time. All right, let's change mode. All right, let's put him in Zephyr mode. And a Zeal in defense mode. So basically, Zeal now won't be going anywhere. Oh, oh what am I, what am I doing? No. Achilles got the win. Again. Wow. Oh, wow. Again with the huge hits. Oh, all right, 
zero Achilles gets the win. All right, let's move on. All right, here we go. Shanker Bass versus Zeo Nidhogg. Let's go. Here we go. Oh my goodness. Zeo Nidhogg is just too powerful. Oh no, Chenko base is off balance. Oh, and he's down. Zeal Nidhogg upsets Corbeus. Wow, I was not expecting that. And here we go again. Oh my goodness, Corbeus is getting destroyed. He's getting destroyed big time. And the win again to Zeal Midhog. Uh, all right, switch modes. Now Chanker Base is not going anywhere. Zeal Nidhogg, well, he's definitely gonna be going somewhere. Here we go. Look at that stamina from Quebec. Oh no, oh no. Oh no. Look at Nidhogg. Oh man, Nidhogg is upsetting the upset. Oh my goodness, three to nothing, Nidhogg. No way. Corbeus cannot win now. It's impossible. Vegas is off balance again. Looks like this round's going to be hard. Oh my goodness, again, another win to Nidhogg. Holy moly. This is a surprising moment. All right, there are, all right, let's do one battle and then we'll move on to the next set of battles. Just, I just want to see how these two do against each other. Here's Achilles versus Chain for Base. Or two battles actually, because there's, oh wow. To be honest, I think Fierce Achilles is going to get the win. Chanko Base is off balance. Oh! Oh, it's a draw. It's a legitimate draw. Whoever wins this battle wins it all. Yeah, you heard that? That was a, a gear. Now, Chanko Base not going anywhere. Oh, 
versus Fierce Achilles. Oh no, that. Oh, I didn't mean to touch it. I was meant to fix the crack. I don't know if that's going to fix the crack or not. Corbeus is off balance, though. Look at that. Whoever wins this battle wins it all. Oh, no. Oh. No way. Oh, my goodness. Oh, Corbeus barely managed to just to get the win. Wow, what a win by Shane Corbeus. All right, here we go. All right, here goes our second set of battles. Here goes Fierce Achilles versus Zeal Nidhogg. Oh my goodness, Nidhogg absolutely, Nidhogg absolutely sucked that round. Here's Achilles gets the point. Here's Achilles. Oh my goodness, Nidhogg already. Out of stamina. That's two points for Fierce Achilles. Now let's switch modes. We gotta switch modes. Okay, it is Mobius versus Zephyr. This shall be interesting. Oh my goodness, it's Fierce Achilles again. Now Nidhogg cannot win. I heard that. That was a loud noise. I think that pretty sure that was Sequex. Really hope it didn't scrape. Oh, it's a draw, but Flame or Fierce Achilles still won the battles. Nidhogg took a little bit of damage. No, it appears to be fine. Alright, now our last. Battle, the ultimate. Zeo Achilles versus Chain Corbeus. This battle starts until we can assemble Nidhogg and Fierce. Alright, here we go. Achilles. Corbeus, if you want. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Achilles is cleaning house. Or is he? Oh my goodness. Oh, Corbeus is going down. Corbeus is going down. Z Zeal Achilles 
gets the first point. Oh no. Oh my goodness. Oh, oh my goodness. Cooper is getting bullied. Oh, oh, oh. oh, it's a draw. Corbeus has a chance. Let's switch modes. Final two battles. Now Corbeus won't be going anywhere, and so as Achilles. So it's now going to be a stamina battle. Fact. Let's see. They're both on balance. Oh man, another draw. Alright, Achilles still has one point. If nobody wins this battle, then Achilles will win the whole battle. Achilles still has one point. Corbeus can't tie it up, though. This time, we're going to launch Achilles first. Oh, my goodness. Corbeus is still getting destroyed. Corbeus, I gave you the advantage, and you're still getting destroyed. Come on, Corbeus. Oh, that is it. Achilles has beaten Corbeus two to zero. And guys, that is going to be the end of this video. So yes, I now have four quad strikes. I hope to get more of them in the future. Anyways, guys, that is it. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.